Can you imagine using the same starting material in the making of two products as different as a protective foam used for packing fragile materials and a carbon fiber wheel that needs to support the weight of a car? Well, in reality, it's not that crazy to think that is possible. In fact, something like that is done with petroleum. Petroleum-derived products are used in many applications, and some of them as different as the two that I just mentioned. But it is this way because what we call petroleum is not really one single component with only one type of molecule, like water is, for example. But instead, it's comprised of many different components that need to be fractionated before they are used in all of the applications that we know. In my research, we're looking at one part of the tree that is called lignin. In a similar way as petroleum, lignin is comprised of many different components. And because of their specific chemical characteristics, they have the potential to become high value materials and chemicals. Additionally, and as opposed to petroleum, lignin is renewable. And it, has, and it is the second most abundant biopolymer on Earth. So when we're looking at lignin, we're looking at a potentially cheap and very abundant material. Then what we're doing in our lab is that we're taking a lignin-rich byproduct from the pulp and paper industry that is called black liquor. And we react it with carbon dioxide. That way, we separate the lignin from the rest of the components in black liquor. Well, what we have found is that depending on the precipitation conditions, then we can produce lignin fractions with different properties for specific applications. For example, in one of our major findings is that depending on the amount of carbon dioxide that we add, then we, we can precipitate lignin of different molecular weights, or in other words, of different sizes. So big lignin molecules could be used in one application, and smaller lignin molecules could be used in a different application. So in the future, we could be able to buy carbon fiber parts for our cars that are not only lightweight and strong, but that also come from a renewable source, and that source is lignin. Thank you.